also say so in Protoss too. Um, let's see how this goes. I'm loading this flows. Just kidding. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In the that doesn't that button doesn't work, does it? In the top right corner, in the orange and blue. We have Pinball playing Protoss as orange, and Dunway Bun playing Zog in the blue, representing the University of Illinois. In the opposite corner, we have, fuck, <laughs> Mr. Quick G. Wallace. I, 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 I'm just gonna, like, I'm just gonna call him Zog, playing Zog in the green, and St. Cleo playing Terran in the teal, representing Northwestern. Like I said, this map, map is usually Terran fabled, I would say, because you have these minimums here and here that are very good if you just drop yours on top of them and you can just get shit. Um, I think I was going for a bunker outside, I mean, the depot, wow, outside his uh, ramp which is not a conventional strategy, though he might just be trying to wall this off so that he can better exploit this base. Um, otherwise, standard from both players, looks like a 14 gas, 14 pool over here, and over here it's also, oh, wow, that's a faster pool, and an extractor as well, so it's probably a very fast speed timing. Um, the UIUC is scouting the zone first, so they should be able to see this. <laughs> the Terran is going for a 2 axe play, um, so we're going to see some very early aggression out of out of Northwestern, which is generally standard in 2 2 On the UIUC side, we see standard on those one openings, which does, the, 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 that lets the guys up. Uh, whatever. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. He's, his soul is better than mine, I would say. Um, so the Northwestern team sees no real units out of the UIUC team, which is somewhat worrying. Two Zoglings, uh, four Zoglings coming out from the Northwestern team, and they're going to go across the map. Um, the protest is going to have this run off the Zog, is gonna have, he's making pairs of zoglings as well, so it should be good. And the Northwestern team is content to just sit outside. The, the, the UIUC team is taking the watchtowers, which is obviously very useful in terms of information. Um, the spot engagement that I missed, sorry, looks like the U, actually, no, he didn't, he didn't lose any zoglings because he only had six of them. Speed is going to finish at about the same time, though the UIUC team is ahead on that one. Um, we see very defensive plays, sentries, lots of sentries, and a second gateway coming out. So he's not, he's not, he's not attacking up yet. Um, so he's going for Banelings. So he is attacking up, and Banelings, of course, a good choice against Zogling slash 2x. Um, yeah, this is what I was thinking. That what they're doing is they're going for very fast aggression so that they can take this base, which this, the gold minerals are very good for Terrans. He's also supply blocked, which is pretty bad for him. It's, the, it's of course the total basic supply block where you get supply block to 27. Inject, 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 inject. Check. There we go. Okay. Um, we see um, Northwestern, of course, has a lot of map control here because they've been able to take the watchtowers. Though he's trying to snipe the and I'm not sure what he's going for there, but he didn't snipe the SCB. Um, yeah. 
So at this point, the the UIUC team is in a defensive stance, but of course, Northwestern doesn't know about the game wins. So if we go, yeah, they don't see anything. Um, I don't know how to cast by myself. This is kind of weird. So at this point, so a little bit of lag, which I guess. Is, okay, so a uh, 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 hatchery coming out of the Northwestern team. So they'll. Yeah, they're just basically looking to get a ton of map control and use that so that they can safely expand. That's a lot of Marines. That's a lot of Fletchers. Not sure why they haven't fully taken down the rocks yet. I mean, those Marines are just sitting there. You might as well just like attack the rocks. Not sure, I'm not sure what he's up to. So this is going to be a four gate, which is standard, plus a forge, plus a natural example. Um, he sees the Bingling though, despite being being repelled, which that is huge because now he knows that he needs to make more vultures, which he has been doing, but now he needs to know that, you know, maybe some things aren't going to be as effective. He, like, is, he is trying to make a push, though, not sure what's up with this. Um, though, yeah, he sees the roaches, which are pretty good, so he decides not to engage. Um, we see ground, ground level one coming from the, from the UIUC protest, which I, that, I, I guess that's what the forge was for. So, yeah. Um, siblings just running around the middle of the map and, yeah, doing the zirping thing. So, it, it, it's important to note that both of the Terran and the protest at this point have just been sitting there and not going up. While the two zones have been trying to assert control, does uh, the northwestern zone has bailings. So those are gonna be pretty bad. If he can snipe those sentries, that's gonna be huge. Um, and 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 UIUC tries to take take down their their rocks so that they can take take the base, which is good. We see an engagement coming in. Probably, and he misses the, all the units with the force fields, which is very unfortunate. There's a tank in siege, but he needs to back out now, and he does. But, you know, that siege tank uh, on the high ground is going to be huge, because it's going to be really hard to break that. Though he is trying to send a couple of zones aside for a flank. Luckily, the, the Northwestern team doesn't have the watchtower, so he doesn't see it, and he comes around and... He's probably going to be able to snap the hatchery, though they are moving back, and the fact that they're moving back allows allows the UIUC protest to move up, and he also has successfully snapped the hatchery, so that's good. The Terran's trying to move back onto the high ground, and the protest is just building it. You know, if it was me, I, I would have just attacked into that, but that's why I'm not good at this game. So he sends the probe up and sees the positioning on the tank, which is good. So now he knows where he can and cannot send his units. The zone is taking the gold, which is odd. And, the, and of course, this gold has been taken for a while. Um, yeah, it's been taken for a while. I, 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 I missed so many things when I saw what cast makes pretty difficult. So, he gets an engagement, he force fields decently on the roaches, but the marines are going to move in. Oh, and, but he force fields away the marines, that's a pretty good play. The northwestern team, though, does have a pretty good tank contain on them, so that could potentially be a problem. They're also ahead in, if we go to the units tab, or actually, if we go to the army tab, yeah, that's what we want. Um, then... Basically, what's been going on is the Northwestern team has been pretty much just, it's just, it's just, just being, being even. But what the UIUC team is doing, which is what you should be doing when you have a zone on your team, is you have the zone be, be really aggressive. So the protests can just sit there and, um, and tech up, map up, just whatever. But now there's a tank contained coming in. He's not, not the best force fields, but they do walk. Um, 
that he is taking tons of damage from those tanks, which is very much a, a problem. He needs to be able to co try to connect the banglings, and he gets a couple of them. He also gets the tank with the zonings from the hangs, and he cleans up that army. But, the, but I don't think he, he has enough to break this, because there's quite a few, few, quite a few marines, quite a few roaches. But the Northwestern team is expanding despite losing the engagement, which I disagree with that um, that that decision. But hey, I mean they can do what they want. Yeah. So like this, is what's been going on? The the protest has been able to amass up a huge ball, but the Zog has been spending a lot of new, a lot of minerals on Zog wings, and that allows some sort of map, map control. This is really funny when they just have like one mutalist. It's just, yeah. Hey, I have one mutalist. Can't really do anything. There's an engagement at this the choke of the Northwestern team, but they backed off, so nothing was really going to happen. Siege tank on the high ground. There should be one over here, but I'm not sure why there isn't. Yeah. This tank in the back probably needs to be moved further up. He, he's not going to be able. Zog isn't going to be able to get an overload over here, and the well, he's on robo time, so he might be able to get him. So, oh, there is one. It's not too soon. Okay. So if you look at the army supplies, um, 75. This is 164. So it's about even, but the the UIUC team has continually denied this expansion, and they've been able to expand themselves. Yeah, like this expansion's been up for a while, but this ex expansion has been up for a for long while. But so the UIUC team is definitely up in expansion, so that's a definite advantage. But they also, of course, have map control. There's a problem over here, I guess, to prevent expansions, because the zone has been trying to expand to its natural and it's been continually denied, so it makes sense. To prevent any sort of like major expansions over here, so so that's actually a really smart move. The protesters natural is up and running. The Zerg is taking a third, which should be as natural, but he's taken the gold. So yeah, it's we're just sitting here waiting for stuff to happen. Um, Muda's coming into the main. I don't think these have been been reviewed yet. He's going to try to snipe down the turrets, and after. He doesn't cancel it, so that's good. And then he's going to get to work on the depots. But there are tons of stim marines coming in, and he should he, he should just back off. This is baiting. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. He takes, he's done a decent amount of damage, and now he's going to start sniping the overlords, which is going to be huge. If you see, he's only forced to supply from, and now he's supply left, and he can take down so many overlords. So this is going to really cut into his own production. The protest just still has a huge ball of gateway units plus two immortals. Scan coming in, so he knows that he has a huge ball of gateway units and, and, and immortals, so... But that is a lot of tanks. But the problem with, with, with having a lot of tanks is they need to be sieged, and they're really hard to tell to, to, to position correctly. Plus, if you... There's quite a few zealots and quite a few uh, 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 mortals that can take the starting tank shots. You see an engagement coming in, um, this, and the UIUC team is not prepared for this, so that's so they back off and nothing. He tries to engage all of the marines that just got stemmed, and there are no better backs on the field, so that's actually huge. Um, so they are able to just wait until the stim runs out and then just run away. It's so much damage done to all of those marines. And even if you want to get medevacs out, it would take so long to heal all of those back up. It would just be used like this for so long. That if we look at this, the, the UIUC team is just picking off um, stray investors, stray, stray roaches, and such. There are a couple medevacs on the field actually now. Um, the mutalists get fungoed and get cleaned up by marines, so that's pretty bad. This, actually, this is actually looking really bad for, for the UIUC team right now. There's a huge, huge tank contained at the second. 
den er altså, øh, en hissende.